Hi, welcome to Begin Explanatory Videos. I'm Navek, a support specialist at Begin. In my last video, I mentioned that I walk you through connecting your hope box with Begin. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to execute this integration using Zoho Flow. I manage all my transactions in Zoho Box, and with the help of Begin Native integration, I have already synced my customers and contacts between Begin and Box. However, I need invoices created in Zoho Box to automatically generate a new order in Begin's order fulfillment pipeline. So it will help my team to track orders, stop reduction, perform quality checks, and ship products efficiently. But unfortunately, with the help of Begin's native integration, we wouldn't be able to transfer the info invoice information to the Begin pipeline record. But with the help of Flow, we can bridge the gap by automating this workflow. To set this up, I need to go to Zoho Flow and create a new flow, set up a trigger to detect when a new invoice is created I'm going to define some conditions and data mappings and configure the action to push the details of the invoice from books to begin. Now let's set this up. I'm just going to click on create new flow. Choose order test. I'm going to click on create. I'm going to click on configure and choose Zoho box and click on next. So we need this trigger when a new invoice is created. When I click on next, I'm going to choose my organization and click on done. So we just, we can see the, all the available triggers from begin on the left hand side of the flow setup. So we're going to use create or update pipeline record. And it's going to map all the fields in begin by choosing the team pipeline here and the books fields here so we just need to map it so i'm just going to map the mandatory field i'm going to map the order name as customer name and we have company and contact by mapping the company name and contact name uh, it would not pull the exact customer and contact to begin as it needs some unique identifier to map the contact and company. So we're gonna use the fetch information for that. Since it is a mandatory field, I'm just gonna choose some random field here and I will show you how to fetch the information. I'm gonna choose a stage or a receive. I'm gonna choose contact as customer ID and closing date as created time and done. So we're gonna use the fetch information so we need to fetch the company so let's fetch company so before i do that i need to cut this by using this as icon and i'm gonna move it down i'm gonna use fetch company and customer name is the unique identifier for the company so um, i'm gonna choose customer name here And click on that and we're going to fetch the contact so the email address is the unique identifier for the contact so we're just going to map the email address from zoho books and done i'm just going to tag this so you can use this order arrange so it will be automatically arranged so now we have fetched the company and contact. Now we have the ID to map, so it will be associated. So let's go to company. I'm gonna use the fetch company and company ID. And I'm gonna take out this. I'm gonna use the contact ID. Done. That's it. We have set this flow. Now we're gonna see how it's gonna work. I'm just gonna turn this on. Please make sure your flow is turned on and click on this test and debug so that you would be able to check this. So I'm gonna create a new invoice in Zoho box. Let's use Hershey's. 
and I am going to add a item here and click on save sync. If successful, I'll see the new order appear in begins pipeline. And if there is a failure, Zoho flow will display the failure and it shows processing. I'm just going to click on refresh. There you go. Just completed. And it is successful. So I should be seeing the invoice information as a new order inside the pipeline. So I'm just going to refresh the page. There you go. So we have successfully created the invoice information as a new order inside the order fulfillment pipeline using Zoho flow. So finally with Zoho flow tracking order became seamless with a simple drag and drop interface. And now you can turn the flow on or off as needed. So that's it for today. Stay tuned for more automation tips in my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and see you soon.